Hey, what's up to Milwaukee, the whole United States? This is your boy Track Lacer. You gotta uh, excuse me. I've been getting my uh, workout on, trying to lose this weight, so I had to throw in the winter coat and the Clark Atlanta winter cap. Get out here on the track. I just finished doing two miles uh, jogging, so my lungs is burning right now. But I was gonna wait till later to do this, but. A lot of y'all follow DJ Academics. Y'all know he always been up on stuff. He always be up on, like, sales numbers and stuff like that. So he reported that Kendrick Lamar just sold 610,000 copies the first week. You know, so I want to give a quick review of the album. Yeah, as y'all see, I still listen to CDs in my car. Uh, I always joke around, but I'm only halfway joking. I can't run out of data and energy on my cell phone because uh, uh, poetic justice took up the last of my memory if I got to make a 911 call, you know? Like, I like Kendrick, but I don't like him that much. So, uh, yeah, I just don't crowd my phone with a whole lot of unnecessary apps and loaded down with a whole bunch of music. So I still like traditional CDs, and I'm going to keep rocking with them until they stop making them, which is probably going to come pretty soon. But uh, with that being said, I went out and got the album uh, on opening night last week Friday when it first came out. And it was mainly off the strength of the song DNA. And um, I say of every song on here, he only probably got two songs that could get by in the club. DNA to open the track definitely and then he got a song with Rihanna called Loyalty and uh it's real laid back uh yeah it's probably by far the most commercial record you know in my opinion but it's it's cold so that's one thing that's different about Kendrick is that when Kendrick make commercial songs they they not even like sell out you know like they not like pop like radio like cookie cutter microwave type stuff even his stuff that crosses over for for pop for mass consumption is still pretty uh tight um i say probably the most powerful song on the album is uh let me make sure it's called duckworth i never knew that his last name was duckworth so kevin lamar duck uh kendrick lamar duckworth so it tells a story from beginning to end. Now I did know that his pops was from Chicago. I picked up on that on the very first album, Good Kid, Mad City, just the accent. You know, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So y'all know Chicago is only two hours away. So all of us black people in Milwaukee got family from Chicago. So we, we hear that accent right away. So he telling a story about a dude named Ducky. And that's his nickname. And he work at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Said he liked to talk a lot. That little gap in his teeth with a curly top. And there was some killers from the hood because the projects is right across the street from Kentucky Fried Chicken. But being a Chicago dude, he kind of know the code. You know, uh, Chicago is very gang related, man. You either, you know, uh, a peace stone, you a vice lord, or you gangster disciples or black disciples. Like... You pretty much don't have no option in Chicago. So it looked like his dad picked up on that right away and said, okay, these are some killers. Let me get him some free chicken. You know, let me put an extra biscuit every time he orders some food. And they say the dude liked Ducky. And therefore, the dude was going to rob Kentucky Fried Chicken because he had already robbed him before by gunpoint. But because of Ducky, he said he wasn't going to do it. But come to find out, Ducky is Kendrick Lamar's daddy. And the cat that liked him, that decided not to stick Kentucky Fried Chicken up, is Top Dog, a.k.a. Top Dog Entertainment. So at the end of the song, you know, Kendrick is just saying, how ironic, you know, dude gave my dad a pass. And then my dad created a dude that would work for him in the music studio and foster millions of dollars so uh let me see what's the other one? Oh, element 
The Element probably goes harder than anything. Element is probably the most L.A. song, the most California song on there. Uh, he said, I don't do it for the gram. I do it for Compton. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just he the best doing it, man. I mean, we we ain't seen nothing like this in, in years, man. It kind of it kind of reminds me of what cannabis or Razzcaz would have been like if they knew how to make commercial songs, you know, instead of just battling all the time, you know. So, uh, yeah, he he just the best doing it right now. I think he pretty much took. The shine from Drake, like everybody was talking about Drake's last project. It's like now ain't nobody talking about Drake or J. Cole. So it just is what it is, man. If you don't own damn, get like LeBron James. LeBron James said he ain't stopped listening to it yet. I haven't either. I'm up out of here.